see it now, don't you? You finally see the truth. Truth is what I make it! I can bring them all back! You sound like me. You always do, at the end. seek to change what had already come to pass. Who are you? I'm a relic of the past. And you're the part of me that won't let me forget. Forever repeating our mistakes! We are two halves split by the star seed, eternally tessellating. But that means... The star seed doesn't reverse time. It, it just repeats it. Over and over, our world is ripped apart. We've never had a choice. The clouds you dance on are the remains of our home. I can't accept that. I'll start over. There has to be another way. There's only one choice left to make. Accept the truth. Destroy the star seed. Let me go. You listen. Why this time? It's killing you. I can't see past this moment. Pain is gone. I feel like I can breathe again.
see you. Oh, we knew we would see you again. But something is different. Your presence is activating long dormant memory cells. Sid? Do you see me? It's been so... How long has it been? I wasn't sure I still existed. I never thought I'd talk to you again. We are remembering everything. Our arrival. The deaths of the Void Runners. The end of our planet. So much has been lost. And yet, we are still here. We believe. We missed you. I missed you too, Sid. Even still, you are not complete. Does that make sense? Ray, I... We destroyed the Starseed. It's not over yet, is it? You better go see for yourself. the cycle but she still became a monster just like every time before she ended the starseed cycle so you might have the chance to end another she's still part of you isn't she I spent lifetimes watching her become a twisted and cruel monster, clutching at her version of the truth. She didn't know, but she does now. Doesn't matter anymore. I have to end this. Does she need to be destroyed? Perhaps there's another way. Wait. She's angrier at herself than anything else. Her hate, her sorrow, her... My guilt. I see myself. We're the same, but... She's beyond saving. You were too, once. I don't have a choice. I need to put her out of her misery. Why put someone out of their misery when you can pull them out?
wide, but you helped me. I know you're still in there. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
change the past. We have to pick up the pieces and fix what's left. The truth is a heavy burden, but we can carry it together. Darb? Is that you?
there something we can do to help? Certainly. How can we help you? Something must have gone wrong. Another Void Runner. Lost. I found Pyatt's body. Poor Pyatt. We are attempting to recall a memory fragment. Perhaps we are mistaken, but we believe he was exuberant. He said something like, The laws of equivalent exchange will set things right. Yes, that's right. He wanted to know if our processor was complex enough to understand the true power of the Starseed, and why he came here. We wish we could remember more. True power? Can the Starseed do more than just collapse the Ultra Void? Uncertain. But Void Tech is a relatively unexplored technology, and despite our best efforts, unpredictable. Perhaps Pyatt knew more than he revealed. That was his way. It is... Projected to remember. Did our story comfort you? Oh, not really, Sid. Something about this is really bothering me. I just don't get it. Everyone did their job. All the conduits were set up. How could they have died before I found them? We wish we could tell you, Ray. But despite all your efforts, we have not restored a coherent timeline of what happened after landing. That means... It's really up to me to finish this thing. There's no one to save us if I fail. I feel so... alone. We believe you are more capable than you know, Ray. Thanks, Sid. Who locked you out and overloaded the star seat? Your guess is as good as mine. Hmm. Could Tufty be behind the sabotage? If anyone could have hacked into our systems and overpowered the Starseed, it's our creator. She knew our framework like the back of her radiometer. That is to say, she knew us well. I'm sorry, Sid. If she did it, she must have had a good reason. Yes, we agree. She would not have come all this way just to sabotage the mission. She was always thinking one step ahead. Whatever she did, we believe it must have been for a good reason. You miss her. Me too. So do I. Hmm. Pyatt. It had to be Pyatt, right? Pyatt believed the Starsea was a holy vessel sent to us by the Divine, destined to save our people. Truly. We do not know what inspired this unusual interpretation. The Star Seed is a wonder of science, but we have never detected any signs of communication with extraplanar alien entities. Maybe he believed overpowering the Star Seed was a holy act of some kind. It sounds quite plausible. Hmm. Sid, is it possible that Irving locked you out of the Starseed? Did have our differences. He was always suspicious of Void Tech. And, well, suspicious of us, too. I can see that. He loved to say, never send a robot to do a man's job. We didn't appreciate that. It's not great. Once, he remarked that synthetic intelligence is... How did he put it? Real smart at killing, but dumb as hell when people need saving. In the end, it's always up to us folk to pick up the pieces. I'm sorry, Sid. That wasn't kind. We do believe he meant well. Despite his flaws, he was a good man. Hmm. So do you think First was the one who locked you out? First was quite angry when we departed our planet for the Ultra Void. We do believe he said that our people deserve this. That a civilization that won't save itself doesn't deserve to be saved at all. We were all upset. Yes. Gozam used to say that Versa's head was hotter than a solar flare. He lived up to his own ideals. He believed in action. 
and was the first of us to volunteer to enter the Ultra Void. Yeah, that's worse. We used to fight over who would hot drop out of the ship first. He always won. Do you recall the time he activated his boosters in the cargo hold? We're lucky he didn't set off our entire load of photon charges. He didn't always think things through. He was impulsive, indeed. Perhaps impulsive enough to overload the starseed. Think Gozam locked you out? Overpowered the starseed? Gozam was clever, decisive, an impeccable strategist. He certainly was capable of it. But you don't think he did it, do you? We cannot see him acting with malice. Perhaps he attempted to change the plan, but we wouldn't let him proceed? That would give him cause to override our functionality. Perhaps that explains our loss of memory as well. It sounds possible, but it doesn't explain everything. True. Hmm. Whatever the plan was, it obviously didn't work. The more we learn, the less sense any of it makes. I don't think anyone made it. I found Gozam. I can't believe he's gone. It doesn't seem real. I always knew that no matter what happened, Zam would be there to fix it. He was the best of us. He was a natural leader. If he didn't make it, then he must have died trying to protect the other Void Runners. I just don't get it. Everyone did their job. All the conduits were set up. How could they have died before I found them? We wish we could tell you, Ray. But despite all your efforts, we have not restored a coherent timeline of what happened after landing. That means it's really up to- We believe you are more- Thanks, Sid. I'm the only one left. But how? This place is nothing but death. I found Tufty. I've never seen her look so defeated, like she had given up all hope. I think part of her might still be there, watching. If she is suffering, then... Then we believe our functionality will be highly impaired. I'm not feeling so good either, Sid. Everyone did their job. Oh, it's like the Ultra Void itself is tormenting them. We have to free them. We have to end this. We wish we could tell you, Ray. But despite all your efforts, we have not restored- That means... It's really up to me to finish this thing. Completely There's no one to save us if I fail. Destroy the Ultra Void. I feel so... Tufty. Alone. For all of these restless lost souls. We believe you are more capable than you know, Ray. Thanks, Sid. Do you remember what happened in the Eternal Garden before you went offline? Our memories are obfuscated. But we think this is what happened. When Pyatt activated our conduit, he, he said, I hope you found this. Perhaps if you recover more of their mission logs, we can understand. Do you remember what happened in the Mirror Sea before you went offline? We are still putting the memories together. But we remember something. We recall Gozen setting up our conduit. He gave a hearty laugh and tried to slap us on the back. He pointed to a nearby tower and said, I'll be up there if you need me. I gotta try to contact the team. He looked after us like we were his family. And now he's gone. I'm going to finish what he started, Sid. We know you will, Ray. Do you need anything else? What's the last thing you remember? Tufty was arguing with... Someone about the starseed. Pyatt was... singing. Our readings were fluctuating. These parts of our memory are fragmented and distorted. Like they were being channeled through a prism. Sorry, Ray. We cannot bring ourselves to remember anymore. It's okay. It's... it's okay. I'm going to finish the mission. For Tufty. We've always got time for our favorite Void Runner. Actually, I need something else. I said.
see it now, don't you? You finally see the truth. Truth is what I make it! I can bring them all back! You sound like me. You always do, at the end. Do not draw this out! Show some mercy! already lost. But I couldn't face the truth. Thought I could use the star seat to change what had already come to pass. Who are you? I'm a relic of the past. And you're the part of me that won't let me forget. Forever repeating our mistakes. We are two halves split by the star seed, eternally tessellating. But that means the star seed doesn't reverse time. It, it just repeats it. Over and over, our world is ripped apart. We've never had a choice. The clouds you dance on are the remains of our home. I can't accept that. I'll start over. There has to be another way. There's only one choice left to make. Except the truth. Destroy the star seed. Let me go. You're not in control here. Keep pushing. You will see. Around we go. I'll see you very soon, little one. Is it over? Goodbye, Ray. All that will be left of you. <laughs> Our remnants. Hmm?